For those who have ears, let them hear. For those who have eyes, let them watch. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back, welcome back. I'm filling in for Jimmy Kimmel tonight. And as many of you may know, this week is InterVarsity's week-long summer conference on Santa Catalina Island. So hundreds of students are on the island studying the word, studying Mark. And yeah, so we thought it would be funny to do a light witness news little bit where we send some reporters out and ask the students what they think about some completely false stories. So I hope you enjoy it. So what study are you in this weekend? I'm in uh, Mark 1 or Peter. Mark 1 or Peter? Okay, so would yeah. you consider yourself uh, an expert then in Mark 1? Yeah, I consider myself an expert. Like, my name is Mark, so I think, I think I'm pretty good. I think I'm pretty good at it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, how did you react when you read the passage where Jesus paralyzes the man? Oh, dude, yeah, he paralyzed. Like, I was so shocked he paralyzed the man. Like, that, that doesn't, that didn't me, man. I just, I just, I just couldn't, I just couldn't handle it. Where were you when you uh, read that passage? I was, like, in the main deck on the side room, dude. I was just sitting in, that, in my seat. Yeah, I was there. Uh, it's been reported that in the book of Mark, John the Baptist was only uh, baptizing the attractive people. How do you feel about that? I think that's great. I think definitely in the text you can definitely see um, Jesus only wants the beautiful people. Um, so I think it's it's right of John to say, you know what, you're not beautiful, I'm not going to baptize you. Mm -hmm. so, uh, Where in the text do you see that? Uh, I see it on the first page. I see it all in the text. Jesus just wants beautiful people, so only beautiful people can be baptized. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So, uh, what did you think uh, about Jesus when he was twerking with his disciples after eating dinner with the sinners? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I thought that was uh, really inappropriate. You know, like, if he's Jesus and he's a rabbi, he really should be, like, shaking his backside in front of other people. You know, he should keep it in his robes. Would the whip have been okay to do? Um, yeah, I think the whip would have been okay. I feel like that would uh, actually show off his, uh, yeah. yeah, it was really cool. So, uh, how long have you been a uh, part of InterVarsity? Uh, two years. Two years, okay, so that puts you, you're going to be a junior this year. Are you going to be a leader in the fellowship? Yeah, yeah, yes I am. Okay, okay. Um, how did you feel about holding a Blaze It Till You Praise It marijuana fundraiser to raise money for the disciples' trip to Galilee? I think it was a great idea. I mean, these past two years as a leader and a, a student in ID, I think I learned a lot about how Jesus in the Bible throughout the um, throughout Mark and everything. I just see how he's talking about harvesting plants and sowing seeds and everything. Uh, would it have been okay if it was cocaine no no that's not not okay no. but weed is perfectly fine all right how's it going so are you a uh, follower of jesus yes yes okay so have you been studying the word a lot now this week yeah of course super intense okay um what did you think when you read the, about the law that uh, the pharisees made that every jewish male now has to wear his hair in a man body? oh i think that's great that's, uh, yeah um yeah when i was looking into it like i think it was really good i think um Mamblins are definitely a thing that we suit them. So, um, yeah, I think it was great. I think um, guys really look good with mamblins. Pharisees look, look, definitely look good with mamblins. So. Do you think Jesus would look good with a man bun? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I think um, I think he might have gotten a man bun too, right? I, I don't know. You yeah, tell me. Um, yeah, I think I read that. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure I read that. Mm -hmm. Uh, when reading uh, Mark, the Mark manuscript, what are your thoughts about the fact that Jesus only chose disciples if they were six foot and out? Yeah, feel uh, No, ma'am, I am lying. I'm sorry. <laughs> What's this? What's this? A new teaching? There goes the man who casted out some demon. He healed the sick and made man walk. How he is able to heal. It's an unclean spirit. This is Jesus, Jesus could be chosen, be chosen one. Let down your nets, ye fishmen. Follow me to be. Leave your father's household and comforts. You know, you're the luckiest bunch I've ever met, and you'll learn so much from me. Mr. I'll make fishes of men out of you. I'm pretty sure Jesus calls James and John Bo energists because they fart too much. Hashtag Sons of Thunder. So my boss's two sons just got off the boat and left while we were mending nets today. I don't think they're coming back. 
Hashtag bot Felicia. Okay. Cool. Frankly, I don't think Andrew's going to make a very good fisher of men. He's honestly not that great of a fisherman anyways. Hashtag fishers of meh. Meh. I honestly don't have a problem with Jesus eating sinners and tax collectors. I do have a problem with Jesus eating that rich kid Levi. Screw you, Levi. Hashtag more like Levi. <laughs> well, you know what? Let me know the next time Jesus has dinner at your house. Thaddeus. Has he even done anything? Did Jesus actually even name him as a disciple? Hashtag useless. Useless? Man, I've been here the whole time! I know John the Baptist is always watching people in the river and all, but he still smells like butthole. Eh. Let it grow, let it grow. I'm one with the good soil. Bearing came to a conclusion anyway. <laughs> Okay, okay, so let's invite up UCI's Mark 1. <laughs> 